Hi. Uh, good morning. Yeah, what have to say it's morning. Uh, today is Monday. It is 2.10 a.m. in the morning. I think that this would be like kind of a public service announcement. You know, um, I have I have spoken about my time um, here at the place that I am in. Um, but I think that it has gotten to the point where it really, really needs to be talked about now. I began noticing, um, now, for whatever reason, ever since I've moved here, the upstairs tenants, they have never made me feel welcome. They have constantly bullied me uh, to the point where I would have to leave the apartment uh, just to go outside, just to get some rest. No, really, you know, uh, the noise would be that bad. You know, I've talked about it before, the banging, the stomping. So, um, I began noticing the trend, right? And Whenever I would come on my phone, they would start banging. And this is where the bullying comes in, you know. You, know, and you, 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 you hear this stuff online. Don't dim down yourself. And just because they're doing that, I'm just like, I, <laughs> you have no idea. I need my peace. You have no idea um, the, the caliber of uh, people that reside above me. You know, trust. So I don't often podcast because of where I'm living at. And be, because of who I am living under. Now, I was told a very, uh, when I moved in here, I was told something. I was told that, because um, I, ne I, I, I never understood why the upstairs tenants were so, you know, so, so mean. And so uh, they were just being absolutely brutal to me. And I thought that it was the the leftover, the ramifications of the last issue that they had with a tenant. I know that um, they have an issue with the older. I have an older and a younger roommate. So um, the younger, the older roommate, uh, have told me that you know they they, they they don't speak and everything like that. They've got they've got they've gotten into it a couple of times. And, I, you know, I was telling her about the, the problems I was having with them upstairs. I mean, they would actually, right now, you, you see the time that I'm talking? All of this, it started about 12.50 a.m. But let me get back to it. So, um, the older roommate, when I moved in, uh, she gave me a long stick, right? And uh, she says, you use this when they start, you know, harassing you. And I'm just like, uh, no, <laughs> I just left that stick right there. And I'm just like, Dang. you know, it's so messed up that you have to live in a place where you have to, um, to, to, to live like that. I don't want to live like that. That I got to take a stick to bang upstairs. No, I don't, I don't want to live like that. Then it's going to always be a back and forth. So when you're dealing with people like that, what happens is that when you start banging upstairs, they're going to, the, the, the harassment is going to increase. So it's going to be like a back and forth, especially if they're vying for your attention. So I would notice that I don't know how um, they've been getting my, uh, my information online. I don't know how they've been getting my information online. And when I say that, um, any phone that I would get, um, let me give you some example. Let me give you a prime example of what has happened um, in the past 
week or so, uh, in the past two weeks. Uh, I always make it a point uh, most of the time that when I'm leaving my room, and this is what I have to do. Like normal people, you, that if you're listening to me, you don't have to do this. But normal people, but I, I have to turn off all of my electronics before I leave this apartment, before I go out of the apartment. Because what I found out about the tenants upstairs is that for some reason, Whenever I go on my phone, they know. Yeah. And I talked I talk to the pastor, and the pastor was just like, you know, uh, they're on your line. And I was like, pastor, it's more than that. Some way, somehow, someone has been giving my personal information to them, and they can... They can hear and see everything that I'm doing on my phone. Um, I made an entry into my phone uh, because of, you know, a certain uh, past associate. And, you know, I was, you know, well, anyway, I had an issue with them. And um, I went in and I did an entry on my phone, you know, in the notes, you know, you have your little notes that you do, your, your little diary and everything like that. So I went in, I did a little entry, I talked about, you know, uh, kicking me off alive, or, you know, just, just stuff like that, you know, my business, my personal business. Well, they've hacked into that phone also. Now, let me tell you something about people like that. The thing is, is that when people that want and thirst for clout or attention, but we all want attention, right? But, it how, but it's how it comes to you. Right, and it's how and and it's what you go about doing to get it. There are different ways. There are positive ways and there are negative ways, right? So um I did that earlier on tonight. I made a little post in my blog and everything like that. So um the upstairs they 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 it's always a lot of noise. The, the stomping, the, 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 but it, it was extra tonight. And that is their displeasure. Listen, the bullying comes in is then when someone wants to control you, right? But these are, these are perfectly strangers to me. I don't know them. I, um, when I leave the apartment, I have to turn off all of my, electronics. I was told when I moved in here that the younger roommate is friends with the people upstairs and um, I was also told that, you know, she's giving them information about what goes on in this apartment. And uh, I have spoken about that before. And um, then it would be if that's the case, then is that part of the coming, you know, is my coming and my goings, is that being reported to them upstairs for whatever reason, right? Because the other day, this was last week, a day last week, um, I have I had turned off all of my electronics in my room. And uh, I, I noticed with the younger roommate that all of a sudden she's keeping her door slightly open for whatever reason, right? It wasn't like that before. We basically usually just keep to ourselves in this apartment. I, 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 I do that. Uh, that's the way I prefer to live because I don't like mess like this. And I feel that you should not, I don't feel that anyone should be reporting anything to anyone that goes on in where you live at. Doesn't mean you have to be this apartment, but where you live at. 
So I'm leaving my apartment, like, just random, right? I'm just leaving the apartment to go out. I don't tell them when I'm going out. And you, you understand what I'm saying? You know, everybody minds their own business. So supposed to be. So, now, you know, they both know that they bully me upstairs and everything like that, right? But anyway, I'm leaving. And one of the guys from upstairs, now, I'm listen, I'm coming out of the apartment. One of the guys from upstairs come down the steps, meets me on the landing. I turn back to come back into the apartment because he's coming downstairs with a hoodie on, right? He's coming downstairs, and I'm just like, wait a minute. Hmm. Aren't you supposed to be going on your elevator? You're supposed to be going to the elevator. Why are you coming downstairs? You're coming downstairs because you know I'm coming out of the apartment, but how? When I've had off my electronics, I had off my electronics for over an hour. So how would you know when I'm coming and when I'm going? He proceeds to go downstairs to the neighbor downstairs and starts talking to the neighbor downstairs. Downstairs of me. What he was trying to convey, I have no idea. Either he was trying to throw suspicion off of someone. Either they were trying to, you know, <clears throat> and this is what I don't want. I don't want to be in any little game that's going on here. You understand what I'm saying? A few days ago, I am coming out of the came out of the apartment. As soon as I came out of the apartment, I heard from downstairs. They left the apartment and they ran downstairs. Listen, because I'm aware of my surroundings. You should be too. They came out of the apartment from downstairs. They ran downstairs probably to get the elevator, right, from downstairs to come upstairs to meet me. Do you understand what I'm saying? I just stood there. I let the elevator go up and down for, for a good minute. A few days ago, I left the apartment. They were making so much noise. It was really, really bad. I left the apartment at four o'clock in the morning. Now I want you to hear this. I left the apartment at four o'clock in the morning. As I was leaving the apartment, as I got to the elevator, A guy comes off. He comes off and then he goes upstairs. Huh? <laughs> what? You came off on my floor and acting like acting like he came off on the wrong floor. He knows when I was leaving and he came off on my floor just to walk upstairs. This is four o'clock in the morning now. This is like maybe two, two mornings ago. Yesterday morning, I'm leaving. What's today? Today is Monday. Was it Sunday morning or was it Saturday morning? I think it was Saturday morning, but I'm not too 
So I think it was. I'm leaving Saturday morning. And when I'm leaving, they come from upstairs. I say they because it was more than one. Of course, it was a guy who was running up and down with a bag or whatever. Don't know. But then one of them, a female, came out and she's asking me. She's like, hey, how you doing? Blase, blase. Remember I was in your apartment. I was the one there. and Because my older roommate had, you know, friends there and everything. And I, and I just, I, I didn't recognize them. Just like, oh, okay. Um, hey, how you doing? Blase, blase. And I'm thinking to myself, why are you guys coming down here? Like, aren't you supposed to be catching the elevator? But that's not the point, right? The point is... They're leaving the apartment the exact same time I'm leaving the apartment. And I would like to know how they know I am leaving my apartment. How? I was on social media today. I, um, like I've said before, it's better to be paranoid and safe than to be lackadaisical and, you know, just caught lacking. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, in the times that we're living in, you have to always be on your P's and Q's and watch who's around you, watch your surroundings. Now, also, just now, they started making so much noise. Now, I'm, now, remember, I'm used to the noise. What happens with stalkers, right, when you have the certain people, they're taking it up a notch now. First, they used to just make noise and blah, blah, blah. It used to bother me on my, on my, on my phones and everything like that. Now it's in person, right? I was on um, I was on social media today, and I saw a caption. It says, "You're in danger." So I I, I told the program that I was in. I I told the case manager and uh, I told the supervisor, um, what was going on. Hold on. Yeah, so right now they started bumping the music. This is 2.29 in the morning. They're bumping the music because they're hearing me podcast. Mm -hmm. Anyways, that's not going to stop me. I'm going to get out this public service announcement because I don't like being stalked, so it doesn't matter. Um. What else I want to say? Um, that that that's all a distraction. Anyways, so tonight, um, can't say tonight. So this this morning, I'm laying in my bed, and uh, even though they were making a lot of noise, I I I had on my headphones like I usually do. But being that they're on my um, devices and they know that I'm listening to, you know, those sound silencing noises, you know. They started stomping. Like their floor did them something wrong. So they have to stomp it out. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Um, I got up. And I went in the living room, and they followed me. They had on shoes. They followed me out into the living room area. I walked back. They 
followed me back into my bedroom. This is some real shit now, right? I sent off an email. Because I have to, you have to document things like this. You understand? You have to document things like this and you have to put it into um, the, the, you know, the right authority figures and everything like that. I shot off the email about mm, five minutes after I did the email, the doorbell started to ring. Yeah. The young one went to the door and she went back into her room and she started laughing. So I'm saying to myself, "Hmm, I don't see anything funny about that. If you are really giving these people upstairs information on my whereabouts and my coming and goings and you have no idea how wrong you are for doing that. You have no idea, young lady. They know that whenever they make a lot of noise, usually or whatever, I would most more than likely leave the apartment, go for a walk, get some fresh air. When I left the when I left my room, when I left my room and went into the living room area, I came back and forth a couple of times. So they must have thought that I got dressed to go out. When I left my room again and I was going out into the living room or the area outside, dining room, almost to the to the door, I heard them I heard their door open from upstairs. Oh yeah. Their door opened from upstairs. And, you know, they came outside. I heard a female voice come outside. So this is in real time that I'm being stalked and tracked. And this is a very, very dangerous and a disturbing premise. And uh, I implore any of you that is experiencing anything similar to this. I think that one of the things that we as human beings, we like to ignore the signs, right? I don't. Now, people might call me, and I don't care, but it is important to document certain behaviors, right? Like that, like this type of behavior, this is very, very disturbing behavior. Because not only now are they, they, it's become confrontational. 
You understand what I'm saying? Because you're not going to be bullying me while we're in the apartment, while I'm in my room. And then when I leave my apart the apartment, now you're trying to meet me. And it's no meet and greet. You understand what I'm saying? I... I do not know who lives above me. They are just random people coming from that apartment downstairs in my proximity, exactly the precise moment that I leave my apartment. This is a cause for concern for me. So that's why I'm doing this. Because I do not, I I absolutely do not want to live like this. You know how it feels. It's already online as far as certain of my devices are compromised and, and, and they know when I'm on and everything like that. But now you're, now it's in person. Now you're, meeting me as soon as I leave the apartment. So my question is, how do you know? How do you know when I'm leaving the apartment? How do you know when I'm back in? Listen, I kid you not. I would come through I would open the apartment door and I would come through the apartment door and I would come into my room. As soon as I come into my room, you can hear the footsteps up upstairs also going into their room. I kid you not. Right? And that's when they would start making noise because now I'm here. And I'm just like, you you could you could understand right what's going on it it's psychological but you have to let people know right because what 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 ha- what happens is that if you let things get out of hand if you let the first thing people would say is did you make a report about it who did you contact who did you talk to you understand what I'm saying? You have to leave a paper trail. It's not a coincidence that they're meeting me out there on the landing whenever I leave the apartment. It's not a coincidence. There's nothing coincidental about it. They know when I'm leaving the apartment. They absolutely know. The second I am leaving the apartment. Hmm. Yes, this is very, very disturbing. And uh, I implore any of you to, uh, my gosh, um, just uh, document time and dates of everything because uh, these are uh, some um, because you don't know where people's mindset are because you have to understand something right You have to understand when people mean you no good and they mean you ill intent. Now, I have, I went through the proper channels and I guess management did speak to them upstairs. Now, let's just say for whatever reason, let's just say that they did not know that um, they were being, you know, they were tormenting me downstairs. Let's just say that they did not know that. But when management comes to you and tell you, hey, uh, you know, 
uh, you know, the tenant downstairs say you're, you're, you're very, you know, loud and the pounding and the banging and stomping, whatever, whatever. Management went to them. So if this was brought to your attention, then either two things would happen, right? You would either stop doing what you're doing, temper it down, or you would um, make it a point to uh, come downstairs, ring my doorbell, and speak to me and be like, hey, um, management came to us and uh, they told us, that, you know, we were making a, I just want to apologize, blah, blah, blah. If you were a good neighbor, if you were a good neighbor, you would do this. But the fact that they did not even do this and the noise not only continued, it got worse. It says a lot. Now, the stalking has gotten, you know, elevated. Um, I don't post often, but um, I am very uncomfortable here. I'm trying to tell you, I'm scared to put my phones off. I have to go buy another phone and another phone and another phone. Somehow or the other, they get my information. Someone is giving them my information. They're going on the internet connections for the Wi-Fi to see whenever I'm on. Do you understand how bad this is? This is really bad. That you're even scared to they stalk in my social media pages. Looking at whatever comments I'm making. And if it displeases them or they don't like it or whatever, they start stomping. Can you understand that? This is some real life obsessive stalking right here. I don't need another obsessive person. No, I already got one. And that's enough. I've talked about her to no end already. But our situation is a bit different. We've had history. Hmm? I don't know these people. I don't know them. But every time I look around there, they, 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 they're steadily trying to insert themselves in whatever matters that is happening in my life or the life down here between us roommates and information is being given to them. So if things go okay, maybe it's not no stomping. If things are kind of awry, maybe it's stomping. Maybe they're trying to trigger me and, and see what I'm going to do. And it's all like, mm, it's all like a sadistic little game they're playing, you know? You know how predators play with their prey before. Yeah, but I'm not something that you. I'm poisonous, you know. You ever see those animals that eat certain things and then it. it, 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 it they either have to spit it out or they have. It does their work on the inside. Yeah, that, that's what I am. When you, when you think that you can come at me and gobble me up. Mm. 
This is a problem for me. Because this is where I live. It's not where I work. It's not where I go you know, to hang out. This is where I live. And if it was uncomfortable before, can you imagine how it is now? And to even think that someone is inside of the apartment where I am living that is giving out, giving out information on me. <sighs> when I first moved in, I, uh, when I first moved in, the light um, up by my door, it was working. Then all of a sudden, it went out. I thought it blew. My supervisor and my case manager came here um, the other day. And, you know, I showed them. You know, I flicked the light on. It wasn't working. And, uh, you know, I showed them some other things in, the, um, in my room, I think. So um, they said that they'll put in a, a work order and everything like that. So um, I wrote in my entry on the phone that someone has been in my room. And why I said that is because um, a few days ago, my light was working again. Yeah, I, didn't, I thought it blew. But it was working again. And uh, I'm just like, did the maintenance man come? Because if he came, I would like to know how he got in my room. So I spoke to my case manager about it. And she was saying, oh, no. Um, you know, um, they said they're going to shoot off an email. Because I even went to find a, the, the, the maintenance man to find out if, you know, if and when he came to my room. Right? And how he got into my room. But when I spoke to my case manager, she was just saying that, um, you know, sometimes because of the, because, uh, you know, I've, I've spoke about the, uh, the electricity, that uh, problems that I've had in uh, the apartment since I've been here and everything. But she went on to tell me, you know, it might be just a, uh, like a little glitch in the switch or whatever. And, you know, I, I, I try to, I try to leave room for anything possible, right? Cause that, that could be possible, right? Like you could turn on a light and it w wouldn't be working for, um, however much you think it's blowed. You don't change it. And then all of a sudden it, it comes back on that's a plausible situation, right? So I have to leave my brain open for that because um, the other alternative is someone breaking and entering, right? Or someone coming into my room without permission, right? Because usually the maintenance man, he would, um, they, 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 they have a way of doing things and they would either leave a note or they would let one of the other roommates know that um, you know, is she in, I got a work order, blase, blase, and then they would tell me, or they would, might not, but, but you understand, there's, there's protocols to it, you know, I guess that would be with any, any place, right, but, um, yeah, I just found it strange that my light was all of a sudden working again, and, um, Okay, so we just kind of leave it at, at, at that. I just have to because the only people I think that have rooms to uh, my place is my case manager, you know, um, case manager and supervisor. That's it. 
so it would be very very interesting to know that part yeah that's what i'm saying too so uh let's just you know leave it on the shelf there whenever i do see him again i'm going to question him about that and everything like that um what's on my plate right now is um this disturbing behavior it's it's very 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 strange behavior from the tenants upstairs i have a real problem with that you know i have a real problem with that so um, yeah if you if you feel that you're being followed if you can double back but hold on but if you're being followed, I mean, you can't double back. Look for look for a lighted place. Look for somewhere that is lighted. Um, if you can, when you're outside, start screaming. You have to bring attention to yourself. If you think that you're being followed. These are some very precarious times that we're in. You understand? You have to keep yourself safe that's number one you have to be aware of your surroundings you don't know what people have in their minds you don't know what people are planning for you or trying to you have no idea and this is my thing don't take any chances even if it amounts to nothing you'll be called all kind of names you know that's what I'm being called. I don't care. You have to take your safety very, very seriously. Talk about it. Tell whoever would listen. You know, if you have to go make a police report about it, at least it's on paper. But when you find disturbing behavior like this, especially with people that are in such close proximity to you, you have to do something about it. You have to, you know, you have to document their behavior. And you know it's not normal. You know, wait a minute. You, you know, you have to step, take a step back and be like, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Y'all are getting too close now. Now, now you meet me at the, you, you meet me outside. But thing is, they're not coming to catch the elevator. They're not going to catch the elevator. They're coming downstairs and trying to be in you're, you're in my face. No, 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 no. That's absolutely a no, no. That's absolutely a no. That's a hard pass. We're not going to have that. Then what? Then you're going to have me scared to come out of my apartment because I'm I'm paranoid about you guys upstairs. No, no, no. Something has to be done. I know you guys could hear me, so I want you to keep away from me. Keep away from me and stop stalking me. You can hear me. Stop stalking me. And if you're trying to ask my roommate for information about me, I need you to stop it also. <laughs> and they said I needed therapy. Me. <sighs> All right. That's it.